the turn here, uh, Ziggy, I did get an email okay. uh, during the show okay. from uh, from Rise Management. So I, right. and they asked me to play it here. I mean, I guess it makes sense since you're here. I don't know what's going on plans or anything like that. So um, let me make sure I'm queued up here. And uh, let's go see what this is about. Greetings, Rise. It is I, your general manager and former Grand Champion Regent, Commander Sterling, here with some important news concerning that very same Grand Championship. You see, I have some bad news. And before I share it, I need to preface it by saying, Ziggy, I am, I'm proud of you. I may not have shown it in the immediate aftermath, but on reflection, I cried along with everyone else when I saw you hold that title above your head. Tears in your eyes. Four years of hard work finally justified. You made Pittsburgh history, my friend. And as general manager of RISE, I am so proud of you. And that's why asking you to give the title back is going to be so hard. You see, your grand championship win was dependent on two factors. Defeating David Lawless in the main event and qualifying for that main event by defeating Erica Lee. That was the original match. Erica Lee versus Ziggy Hyam for a shot at the Grand Championship. The trouble is, you didn't beat Erica Lee. You didn't even fight her. You beat Janai Kai. And here's the thing about belts being contested at backyard wrestling shows. Nobody keeps up with the paperwork. The contract says that you had to beat Erica Lee. And you didn't. Officially, your match with David Lawless was non-title. And when Rice returns, I'm going to have to ask you to give the belt back. Now, for the record, I don't want to have to do this. I really don't. No matter what my reputation says, no matter what you may think I want, I don't want this. You think I want to be responsible for, for ripping this away from everyone? No. Genuinely, no. Once upon a time, Ziggy, I told you that you could be the face of Rise. A long time ago, Ziggy, I told you that you have championships in your future and i mean that and i believe that and i back that just not yet still give it another four years eh? see you soon ziggy Well, I'm glad you uh, showed me that live because that means I can say something live to you, Sterling. Because I believe, actually, that I've been in wrestling longer than you, Sterling. And if there's one thing that I have learned, it's that a card is subject to change. There's no contract. I did not write my name in blood or pen or anything of that sort. We all know what going into a wrestling show is, and we all know that I came out of it with the belt. And I know you say that I'm the future. Well, the future is now. And when Rise comes back, you're going to pry this from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> 